<laughs> what was, um, did Sonny and Cher have like a talent show? We could be like the Sonny and Cher talent show. Just get different people up here singing, dancing. Like, oh yeah, Carol Burnett had one as well. Okay, yeah, that's probably. I don't know if I could pull off the crop tops of Cher. She was always in like a little bra top and a skirt and I'm like, nah, I'd get too cold. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's get going. Good morning, good morning. Hello, morning, morning, all the mornings. <sighs> We have a smaller, but I feel like perhaps rowdier crew today, so we'll see. <laughs> for all of you that are out there joining us virtually, thank you for tuning in. We love connecting with all of you. And, uh, oh, Mr. Robert V. Hill, thank you. Thank you. I see you. I see your words. We appreciate you being out there. And I think we're going to see you soon in person. So everybody get ready. I think I'm going to wear my helmet next week when you show up, Robert. Robert, oh just being pretty. <laughs> yeah. Steffi says, oh, my God. <laughs> all right. Happy Thursday, all. Uh, hopefully, you guys are having a good week. It's a little colder today. Hopefully, we see a little precipitation for the fires. So keep everyone um, in your hearts and prayers for that. And I guess... Mentioning that, the quote's a little ironic today, so I apologize if it's offending anybody, but the quote says, don't light yourself on fire to keep others warm. Don't light yourself on fire to keep others warm. And essentially how I took this quote is, don't destroy yourself, right, for the sake of someone else. You know, we, we do spend a lot of time worrying about others and taking care of others and and that's okay right it's it's good to be supportive and be a community and be there for others but not at the cost of your own self um i think another way to say this and i've i've heard this before it's like what's true on airplanes is true in life put your oxygen on first right because you're not going to be able to help anyone else or offer yourself to anyone else if you're not complete, if your cup's not full, if you've burned yourself out, right? So we've been doing the um, loving kindness meditation all week, and I think this quote plays into that, right? So giving ourselves that love, taking care of what we need. Um, and so, yeah, just a, a little reminder to tune in to yourself, Make sure you take your breaks when you need, and, um, and then you can be a better version of yourself, right? And that looks different for a lot of people, whether it's physical exercise, mental meditation, maybe it's just a night off, or maybe it's eating healthy, drinking enough water, doing all the things to take care of yourself so that you can show up in the best way possible. So, yeah, we'll, we'll stick with that one today. Yeah, yeah, Steffi, yeah. <laughs> See, I'm getting a lot of support, a lot of love this morning. That's good. All right, so for all of you, again, who are out there, thank you for tuning in. We're going to get to our starting position. We will do our part to keep ourselves afloat by doing our gentle stretches this morning, giving our minds a little bit of a break with some mindfulness, and we'll just try to have a wonderful Thursday, right? That's all we can do. We'll give it our best shot. So let's go ahead, let's get going, and let's have a great day. It is Thursday, right? What did I say? Oh, oh my goodness. It's Thursday. See, I don't even know what day it is. Happy Thursday. Thanks for keeping me in check, Carol. <laughs> yeah, it's my shoulder. It's because of my flu shot. I'm still not feeling well. <laughs> Steffi, you missed it. They were not giving me any love yesterday because I got a flu shot. Oh. Only Carol gave me love. Everyone else gave me a hard time. Uh, and I had a struggle through the day. <laughs> Clearly still struggling, not knowing what day it is today. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's have a wonderful Thursday. So go ahead, come on to your starting position. Bring your feet flat to the floor. Feel your hips heavy down into the chair, bring your spine long, sit up nice and tall. 
tall. And then we'll start as we always do with three deep breaths. I invite you to close the eyes here as we inhale through the nose, pull the breath in. Exhale, open mouth, let the breath go. Inhale through the nose, belly fills, chest expands. Exhale, open mouth, let it all go. Last one, deep breath in. And a slow breath out. Nice job, you guys. Go ahead, with those eyes back open. Come on back into the space that you're in. And we'll start with your stretches. So we're going to begin with our legs here, lower extremities. Go ahead and bring them straight out in front of you as best as you can. And then we'll start by pointing and flexing the feet here. Pointing and flexing. Good. So we're taking the toes away from the body, back towards, away, and forward. Good. Starting to get that energy flowing, get the blood pumping. Carol, this should probably help a little bit with that calf tightness as well. And keep in mind, as always, if you're unable to see physical motion in the body, I invite you to close the eyes and see if you can watch as the body moves. Visualizing, pairing that with motion, and of course, continuing to breathe. Nice job, you guys. A couple more, just like that. And go ahead, bring those heels down to rest on the floor. We're going to keep the legs nice and straight and long. Flex the toes back and towards the body. Take a breath as you sit up tall. And then as you exhale, gently come on down towards your toes, bringing your hands in the direction of your feet and toes. And then just easing into the posture. Noticing what comes up in the back of the legs, feeling the stretch in the calves and the hamstrings. Allowing the breath to move slow and steady. Nice job, you guys. Relaxing any tension. Go ahead, take another deep breath in here. And exhale slowly, slowly. Come on back up towards seated. <sighs> nice job. Go ahead and put a bend in the knees. Bring your feet flat to the floor again. We'll come back to our starting position as we take a breath to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Good. So we'll go ahead and get into our inner thighs here, our hip adductors. So we're going to take our knees in opposite directions here. Just gently drawing the thighs away from one another. And now you can continue to use the muscles of the hips and the legs to open up that stretch. If available, you can use a hand or a forearm. Gently push into the thighs here, maybe deepening the stretch, and then continuing to breathe, releasing any tension, relaxing the shoulders, and just feeling, feeling into sensation, feeling into this moment. Nice job, you guys. Go ahead, take a Inhale here, and exhale, come on back through center, draw those knees in towards one another. So we'll come back to our starting position and take a breath to reset. Inhale through the nose, open mouth, exhale. Good. So once again, bring your feet flat to the floor, hips are heavy, rooting down. Sit up nice and tall as you take a breath in. And then we'll start with our right leg, bringing that knee up into the body here. Gently squeezing it into the belly, maybe up into the chest, and then breathing. Breathing and feeling into the back side of the right hip here. And you can stay in this position or bring this leg over the other, crossing it here. And just noticing, noticing what that does to the stretch. 
I mean, if a new sensation comes up, see there's no sensation, that's okay, no right or wrong. Just continue to breathe into this position, feeling into the stretch, feeling into your body. Take another inhale here, and exhale, slowly. Uh, we'll go ahead and switch sides again. So once more, come up nice and tall. Take a breath in. And then bring your left knee up into that body here. Gently squeezing it into your chest. And then once again, feeling, noticing what's happening in the back side of the left hip this time. And you can stay here or cross the leg over the arm. Allowing the body to soften here, releasing any tension, releasing any holding. Smooth and steady with the breath. Go ahead, take another inhale here. And exhale, slowly release, let it go. Nice job, you guys. Let's take a breath here to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Nice job. All right, we are all done with our legs, so we're going to move into stretching our trunk here. So come on back to that starting position. Feel uh, your hips heavy while you create some length all the way through the top of your head. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, gently twist over to the right. Good. Bringing the hand grip to a place of your choice, maybe on the leg, maybe on the side of the chair, and then continue breathing, creating length and space as you inhale, gently deepening the twist as you exhale. Maybe the gaze comes over the right shoulder, and then just continue smoothing out the breath, slow and steady here. Go ahead, take another inhale, and exhale, come on back to the center. Oh, good, we'll go ahead and switch sides, so once more, sit up tall, create length here in the spine, breathe in, and then twist gently over to the left as you breathe out. Good, once again, bringing your hands to a position of your choice, creating a little leverage, a little Ability. Feel your hips rooting down as you continue to breathe. Sit up nice and tall on the inhale. Maybe twist a little deeper on the exhale. Good. Perhaps the gaze comes over the left shoulder. And just continue breathing. Softly in. Softly out. Take another inhale here, and exhale, slowly release, come on back. Oh. I love that one, bringing out the spine. <laughs> How's your back feeling, better? <laughs> Good job. He didn't get a flu shot, but he was doing heavy lifting, so I'll give him a little sympathy today. <laughs> take a breath to reset. <laughs> Let's take a breath to reset. Inhale through the nose, open mouth, exhale. Man, no sympathy around here. <laughs> All right, keeping those legs exactly where they're at, we're going to ground forward. Bring our hands down towards our feet here. And then just continue breathing. Allowing the low back here to softly open up, letting the muscles open the lumbar spine release. If it feels okay, you can continue to round forward, maybe releasing the head down towards the ground. Just allowing the body weight to come forward, let the muscles relax. If there is any compression or restriction in the breath, back off a little bit. Finding a place that feels nice and 
continue moving the breath. Slow and steady, allowing the muscles of the back body to soften. Nice job, you guys. So if you're ready, take another deep breath in here. And as you exhale, slowly, slowly, slowly roll back on up. <sighs> Good. Allow your spine to come back in line. Let your blood pressure settle and stabilize. We'll take a soft breath in and a soft breath out. Good. Go ahead. Open the sides of the clothes. And now we'll get into stretching the front of our body here. So from our starting position, we'll feel our hips heavy, feel that spine long and light, take a breath in, and then start by squeezing the shoulder blades together, maybe bringing your elbow points towards one another. Just allowing the front of the body to begin to open up here across the chest, across the collarbone. Depending on the height of your chair and how it feels in your body, you can take your spine up and over, further allowing the entire front body to open up here, allowing the muscles, excuse me, allowing the arms to come to either side as the muscles begin to soften, breathing into your abdomen, chest, all around the neck. Thank you. 
Vrata. Steffi's ready for it. I was just saying, this overcast weather reminds me of home. I feel like I'm back in Chicago. <laughs> All right, how you guys doing, okay? Hanging in there? All of you guys out there in the virtual world, thanks for continuing to be with us. We've got, let's see, Robert and Miss Vivian out there as well. Hello, you two. All right. And take a sip of the coffee this morning so I don't fall asleep. <sighs> that wouldn't be fun for anyone to watch. Me just dozing off on camera. <laughs> All right, let's get the timer set up here. Hmm. Oops, there we go. All right. <clears throat> so... I'm going to read the quote again today. It says, don't light yourself on fire to keep others warm. And I think that one plays exactly into the loving kindness meditation that we've been practicing all week. Right? And essentially, yeah, you want to, you want to give of yourself to others. You want to help when possible. Um, you want to be there for your family, for your community. But if it's all for the sake of you and your well-being, then it's generally not worth it, right? Because unless, unless you're at least halfway full, <laughs> there's not going to be much that you can offer to others. So it's important. It's not selfish. It's important to give yourself that love, give yourself that attention, that care, uh, that kindness that we all need, right? 
And so we'll continue with our practice today. As always, I will guide you through this, offering verbal guidance throughout. Um, keep in mind that it's all a suggestion. If you want to show up for the next several minutes and just breathe and relax, that's okay. If that's what you need today, take that. We will hear two bells. One will indicate that our time has started, and one will indicate that our time has ended. And all I ask in between is that you allow yourself to show up, let yourself arrive, and be present. So wherever you're at in this moment, start to relax, come to a comfortable position, Start to soften the body, soften the mind, and just simply be. Once again, for the next several minutes, I invite you to simply show up. Allow yourself to arrive here in this moment. And show up for yourself. Giving yourself this gift of time and space. Tune in to you. Pay attention to yourself, your needs, your being. you haven't already, I invite you to close your eyes. Close your eyes and bring all of your focus, all of your attention inside. Allowing yourself to let go of any external distractions, any outward interruptions. And just let all of the focus turn inward. With your eyes closed. See if you can see yourself. Visualizing you as you are. Here in this moment, head to toe, front to back, side to side, inside to out. Seeing, feeling, sensing your entire being. physical and energetic. Acknowledging the entirety of yourself. Take a soft breath in and a soft breath out. A soft breath in and a soft breath out. When 
you're ready, and just for a moment, call to mind all the energy, all the mental thought processes, all the mental power that goes in to outside distractions. Maybe worries, fears, plans for tomorrow, thoughts from yesterday. Just a second, think about all the energy you put into things outside of yourself. And then when you're ready, gather all that energy, pull it into you, hug it into you, bring it close. And as you gather it, allow it to transform into positive energy, into love into kindness and compassion. And then allow all of that energy to be redirected back into yourself, back into your being, filling up your body. Feeding your physical being, feeding your energetic being. And feeling that energy encompass you, wash over you, fill you up. Maybe it feels like a warm waterfall or a cozy blanket. Maybe it feels like a hot tea filling you up from the belly, feeling it from the inside out. Letting this positive energy, this loving radiation, letting it encompass you, wash all over you, wrap around every inch of you, and let it hold you, let it protect you. Feed your being. Take a soft breath in and a soft breath out. A soft breath in and a soft breath out. Breath in. Breath out. As you're ready, start to bring your awareness down to your heart space. Deep within your rib cage, in between the lungs. Sensing that which is at the center of you. Maybe feeling the beating of your heart, the pulse of the blood, or the rhythm of the energy as it radiates from within. Let yourself see this place, feel this space as a home for the love and kindness that resides within each of you. Maybe we don't always feel it. Sometimes it's hard to sense it or acknowledge it, but know that it's there. And then when you breathe, as you pull the breath in, let it feed into that space, nourishing your heart, fueling your soul, lighting up your energy, pulling that breath in. And then as you breathe out, letting go of anything that holds you back. 
anything that dampens that fire, anything that blocks that light and that love. And I'm breathing again, fueling it, just as you pour gasoline on the fire, pull the breath into your heart space. And as you breathe out, let go of anything that's holding you back. Releasing that which you don't need. And then continue. Fueling your heart as you breathe in. Releasing what you don't need as you breathe out. Fueling your heart as you breathe in. Releasing what you don't need as you breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Continuing to breathe in this way. Feeding into the love and the kindness that reside within you. And allowing them to fuel your being, light up your energy, feed your soul. And letting that light, that fire, that energy from within radiate throughout. Feeling your being ignited, ignited by the love and kindness that resides within. Allowing it to flourish. Giving yourself the chance to cultivate it. Letting it grow. Continuing to nurture it and nurture yourself. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. If you wish, begin to call to mind, call to mind the parts of you that make you wonderful. Maybe it's the love and kindness that resides deep within. Maybe it's your smile that you can share with others. Maybe it's a listening ear. Maybe it's your ability to show up every day despite the challenges put in front of you. Your strength, your determination, Maybe it's your sense of humor. Maybe it's the role you play within your family. Whatever it is about you, acknowledge it. Celebrate. Hold in mind that goodness and let yourself enjoy it. Embrace it. Continue to breathe into it, breathing into your heart space, breathing into your being, feeding your goodness, celebrating everything about you. Breathing in and breathing out. 
Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Continue breathing in this way. Acknowledging, nourishing that space deep within you where your love grows, where your kindness flourishes. Allow your goodness to radiate throughout your entire being, lighting you up from the inside out. Continuing to celebrate you. Allowing yourself to love you. Be kind to you. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. final few minutes of our practice. Allow yourself to continue breathing, celebrating and loving yourself with every breath in, and letting go of anything you don't need with every breath out. Know that at any point you get distracted or your thoughts are interrupted, that's okay. Give yourself a little grace and compassion and then come back to your goodness. Come back to the love within you. I will let go of my verbal guidance and continue to breathe with you. We'll hear one final bell indicating that our time has ended. And until then, let's keep breathing. Pulling in the energy, feeding your heart, feeding your soul. And breathing out, letting go of that which you don't need. Breathing in. Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out.
soft breath in, and a soft breath out. Take a soft breath in, and a soft breath out. Starting to come back. Feeling into your entire being, sensing your whole self. If you wish to stay here, celebrating your goodness, celebrating your kindness, by all means, please do so. Otherwise, as you're ready, softly, and to open the eyes. Come on back into the space that you're in. Maybe taking a deep breath with eyes open. If you've dozed off, start to wake up. And as always, thank you guys so, so much for showing up, participating, being present, giving yourselves this time and the space. For all of you joining us virtually, thank you guys for continuing to show up, participate with us. We love connecting with all of you. We'll be back again this afternoon at 1.30 for our rehabilitative strengthening class. And then we'll be back again tomorrow morning, of course, with another session of mindfulness at 10 o'clock. <sighs> we hope to see you at one of those. Either way, we hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. We'll see you again next time. And as always, continue to take care of yourselves and take care of each other.